out there in the pattern as you look out as our blades are coming in lining up on our runway. It looks like you want to come in and join us. From Pops and Props, the little airplane that you sit on. You don't get in this airplane, you try to sit on it. That's all the about. Brian, I saw this beautiful little airplane flying around the circuit uh, the other day here at Oshkosh, and I was something impressed. Uh, Scott uh, Land is the original designer of the airplane, isn't he, and manufacturer? That is true, yep. Now, he introduced this here, I think, about three or four years ago at Oshkosh. Mm -hmm. but, uh, this is the first time that I've actually seen it flying. Now, are you the owner of the airplane? I'm not the owner of the plane. Uh, Scott actually owns it, and uh, this year uh, I'm flying for him in past years on Nathaniel Halsmer. Uh, has been his test pilot and uh, pilot for all of his uh, new designs and uh, has flown this plane as well as the Zing which is one of his other designs here at Oshkosh um, for the past I think about three or four years. Now this airplane is called what? Uh, this airplane is the Cloudster 2. Uh, the difference between it and the Cloudster 1 which uh, this is actually the same airframe as the Cloudster 1 um, he clipped the wings about three feet, uh, which increased uh, the airspeed and actually overall in improved the performance a lot. Um, and also put the 340 liquid cooled Kawasaki engine um, in it. Now, this is the little uh, 340 here that we've got on the front of this now? Yes. How many horsepower is that? This engine will produce between 30 and 33 horsepower. Okay. And you're using what type of reduction uh, ratio on it? This is about a 2.5 uh, reduction, and it is uh, Scott's design, his own reduction uh, design, uh, which he sells um, as a package with the engine. Now, when this airplane uh, is delivered to the customer, what kind of kit it is? I'm looking just above your head there, and it looks to be a lot of wood in it. Yes, this is the the entire aircraft is built out of wood, and um, it comes. A lot of the parts are pre-cut. The fuselage has plywood sides, and um, it uh, is very, it's like building a, a large model, basically. Now, uh, is the airplane as a kit, or is it a raw materials when the customer receives it? Like, uh, when I'm building this, do I have to manufacture a lot of the parts for it? Uh, I don't believe you do. Um, a lot of things are cut to size, like, you know, the, the aluminum and the landing gear come with it. Um, as long, I mean, if you can work with wood, I mean, as, as Scott has told me before, if you're a good work, woodworker and, uh, you know, can use some epoxy, you can build a fuselage in probably a shorter period of time, maybe a week or so. Now, you're the pilot of these airplanes then, so you know quite a bit about its flight characteristics. What kind of uh, takeoff roll, climb rate, stall speed, cruise speed, and all that uh, coming in at? Well, this aircraft, um, I would say... I can have this off the ground. I mean, uh, if I really wanted to get it off quick, I mean, it'll take off about 30 miles an hour, and you're talking maybe 75, 100 feet. Um, climbs out very well at probably 40 miles an hour, which I like to climb out at. Um, of course, you can climb out slower, about 35. At about 40 miles an hour, I would say that this would climb about between 800, maybe 1,000 feet a minute. Very fast climber. Um, Cruises between 55 and 60 um, at about 5,300 RPM. And uh, landing, of course, this model in, in particular doesn't have brakes on it, but uh, with brakes, I would say you could have it landed in probably, if you were really determined, about 50, 75 feet. What kind of weight are we talking about all of them? Uh, this right here is um, definitely a legal ultralight. This weighs probably about 245 pounds, 250 maybe. Um, so it is legal and uh, works real well. Now, what about control systems? On it? I see your legs are sucked on the side. So yeah, it's it, it is as uh, one uh, viewer uh, called it, uh, what would be a flying crotch rocket. Um, that it is. Uh, the the rudder pedals are mounted on the outside, and um, it has uh, about half span ailerons on the wings. Um, all uh, controlled by uh, mechanical linkages, rods and so forth, push rods and pull rods. Um, and the tail also uh, is, is very effective. All the controls, that, that's really what I'm amazed about the most with this airplane is um, it, it controls very well. Uh, it, very, little adverse yaw and I mean, just the slightest input and it reacts, which I think is a good thing, especially for a, a pilot who is who is first starting out because you don't want an aircraft that's mushy 
and is just going to you know kind of roll or just you know go into go into a turn or a bank very slowly. It's very fast reacting, um, and uh, is just it's really a pure pleasure to fly the airplane. I'm, I'm re very impressed with it. What about the cost of the airplane? And when the customers got it all in flying, what do you think the cost would be? Um, the entire aircraft, engine, everything, uh, raw, minimal amount of instruments, it, you can have it flying for between $4,500 and uh, $5,000.